everyone this is my next video today i'm going to explain lit code question number 237 delete node in a linked list there is single linked list add and we want to delete a node node in it you are given the node to be deleted node you will not be given access to the first node of add all the values of the linked list are unique and it's guaranteed that the given node node is not the last node in the linked list basically what they given problem is they given a single linked list uh, add and we want to delete the node in it okay and we need to delete the direct that node they not given to access the first node of add okay and all the values of the nodes are unique and they are guaranteed that there will be not uh, giving us to delete the last node means tail node okay this is the question see in the example one what they given 4519 they given directly to delete the given node as 5 after deleting uh, the output is visible like 419 and the given explanation you are the second node with the value 5 the linked list should be become 419 uh, after calling the your function in example to see one is deleted after deleting one 459 4 is connected to 5 5 is connected to 9 okay let's briefly understand in the white board see taken on example Uh, is one is pointing to two, two is pointing to three, three is pointing to four, and four is pointing to five. Is point, five is pointing to null. And output should be one is pointing to two, two is pointing to four, and four is pointing to five. Here we are deleting three. So if they are given uh, from the you can access from the add means it will be more easy. Uh, this will be the previous previous of next next we can delete and we can connect this node this two to the this four. The total. we there is no access from the add so what i am doing we should delete this three okay before deleting this three what i am doing i will copy this four i will store in this node okay it will be 1 2 4 4 okay it will be after doing some modification it the, the list Visible like one is connected to two, two is connected to four, four is connected to four, four is connected to five. Then what I will do? I will delete this node. Okay, it will be one, two, four is connected to five, and five is connected to null. And this four will be here. Okay. Then what I will do? That I will delete this four. This I will delete. After you can see the output. It will be one is. Connected to two, two is connected to four, four is connected to five. Yeah, our output is came. That logic I will be showing in the coding. Here we given function delete node, uh, passing the parameters of list node of node type. Uh, we are deleting the which node we want that one. Mean this what I am doing. I am copying the value of the next node. I am storing in the given node. What I done? I created on li uh, uh, list node. Of next node type, I will be storing next node next in uh, next node. Okay. Uh, after that, I am pointing the next pointer of the given node to skip over the next node. Okay. I will like drive and I will be dry run now. Then you will come to understand. I will be taking one next node value. I will be stored in node value. After that, my node next will be connected to the next node of next. Finally, I will be deleting the next node. Let's we can dry run the code. See here, least node next next node equals to node next. Uh, I want to delete this five. Uh, the pointer will be will be pointing to the node next. Okay, it is our node. It will be pointing to the node next. Next node value will be stored in node value. This one will be stored in uh, node value. Okay. After doing this uh, line, it will be four will be connected to one. One is connected to one. One is connected to nine. Uh, here node next equals to next of next node of next means what I will do one will be connected to this nine. Okay, delete next node. This is a next node. Okay, I will be deleting this. After deleting this, linked list will be visible like four is connected to one and one will be connected to nine. You can see the output. Okay, this is the dry run of the first example. Let's we can understand the time complexity and the space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking big of one, and space complexity is also taking big of one because we are not taking any uh, 
uh, extra space so it takes the space of Lego of one thank you guys for watching my video